tree. <laughs> Albert is about a year and a half, weighs 90 pounds, and lives with his handler, Pam Medhurst. The training for Albert started early. We like to start him as puppies, if, it, if at all possible. So uh, he came to me when he was 12 weeks old, and that's when we started training him. Medhurst has worked with the canine unit for Sheriff Search and Rescue for 24 years. She and her colleagues, all of them are volunteers, have worked with German Shepherds, Labs, and Beagles. This is the team's first bloodhound. There are lots of dogs that can track people, but there's something mythical in the public imagination about a bloodhound. When a family sees you've got a bloodhound looking for a loved one, they really think you're pulling out all the stops. And we have in the past called outside agencies to come in with a bloodhound just for that reason. Time is of the essence when we have a missing person. So if we have to call another agency and it takes three or four hours for them to drive here, that's three or four hours that we've lost. Uh, with Albert and all our other dogs, now we have the capability to, to be right on top of the search. Tracking dogs in San Diego search for missing persons, both alive and dead. Pam Medhurst and her dog were part of the search for murder victim Chelsea King in 2010. She says the tracking dogs she works with, like Albert, are different from police dogs. In the end, all the dogs are very gentle, lots of kisses. We want to comfort that person and let them know that we're not... We're not going to uh, scare them. Albert and other trained dogs learn how to discriminate among human scents as they search based on the scent of a person's clothing. Medhurst remembers finding a boy who was missing from his home. Her dog got the boy sent from a pair of pajamas. We had a sighting we thought might be him, and I was able to deploy one of my beagles, and we tracked him. He was hiding in the bushes. People had walked past him numerous times. But because the dog picked up his odor, we were able to jump right in and find him. So that was a nice ending to that night. Dogs have about 300 million olfactory receptors in their noses, about 50 times what we have. One reason a bloodhound has such a good sense of smell is its long, broad nose with lots of room for receptors. That's why Medhurst and other dog handlers say we don't track people with pugs. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.